Bert. We are waiting for you. Excuse me. <clears throat> I was busy with uh, some uh, T-box uh, surgery. Uh, talking about uh, operation, uh, let's take a look to T-box organs. Uh, I mean uh, T-box features. The main feature of T-box can be divided in five groups, and this for all model of T-box. First, T-box is a PLC. PLC programming is organized according to IEC 1131 Program Organization Unit, providing programs, function and function blocks. Each POU can be written either in ladder logic or basic. Programming in ladder is very easy thanks to a library of object. Select an object, insert it onto the grid and associate it to a tag. Being online with T-Box, objects are dynamized and you can see the result immediately. BASIC can be compared to structured text and provides all the advanced mathematical functions. Keyboard shortcuts provide access to tags and to function to make programming easier. Programming tools such as the watch window and the cross-reference window will help you monitoring your process and IO simulation mode will help you controlling your process without requiring any hardware. Through alarms, T-Box can send data. Alarm management in T-Box has already been discussed in the previous topic. Alarm conditions are created with a few clicks by associating a tag, a recipient and a message or a report according to the type of recipient. T-Box is a powerful data logger. There are two ways of storing tag values in T-Box, using chronologies for sequence of events and using sampling tables for periodical recording. For sequence of events on digital tags, you select the edges that you want to record and with an analog tags, you select the variation requiring to be recorded. For periodical recording, you select the period between two records and the value recorded can even be pre-computed with a min, max, average, instantaneous and incremental based on the selected period. T-Box supports many communication ports and protocols. T-Box is a multi-communication platform. In Twinsoft, from the resources folder, you access the communication port of the CPU. And with a few clicks, you can easily add another communication card. Let's insert a GSM card and change its configuration into GPRS. You adapt the APN to the one you have received from your operator. That's it. Concerning communication protocols, some protocols like Modbus are embedded. Other protocols are available as add-on. In RTU properties, you select the supplementary protocol you want to use, like Alan Bradley, DC09, BNP3, IEC 60870 or one of the SNMP family. Through its embedded IP stack, T-Box supports many IP connections and IP protocols. As we have already seen in the previous topic, T-Box can act as a web server, which makes it the genuine SCADA RTU. In addition, it can also establish various IP connections. It can connect through a dial-up modem to an Internet service provider. With FTP, it can send files to a server. With SMTP, it can send message or report by email. And with POP3, it can read subject of email. With NTP connection, T-Box can automatically synchronize its clock to a server on Internet. 
DIN DNS connections allows handling dynamic change of IP address, mostly during GPRS connection. Virtual servers provide router function based on protocol and port. SSL protocol embedded in TBOX provides a high level of security in data transfer, like in SFTP connection or using HTTPS. In conclusion, we see that TBOX is a wide horizontal product, providing with all its features solutions to unlimited number of vertical markets. Oh, excuse me, I received just a call for a new emergency. Bye-bye.